Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by Halo Freak 108. He says, if you're a child and listen to this podcast, you have daddy troubles. Possibly, uh, possibly accurate. Hello, my children. <laughs> um, hello, fellow nine-year-olds. <laughs> I'm 21 years old. That was a weird thing to say. Uh, Swagger Souls is with me today. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Daddy Souls here. Also joined by I Notorious, aka Matt. What is up? We're also joined by a special guest. Raccoon eggs. Whoa, that was special. Hey, how's it going? That was special. Yeah. Fun fact, this is the second time we're recording this year <laughs> because we got 45 minutes into our previous recording and Rack's power My went power out. went out and uh, I lost my audio. <laughs> right. I, had, oh, I, I, I had a meltdown in my room for five minutes with my head in my hands. <laughs> I can only imagine. He told a bunch of great stories. We were just getting into the personal stuff about his like sex life um, and you know his power cutouts. So. Yeah, I'm I'm glaring at an outlet in my room so that the power doesn't go out again. It's, it's funny. We didn't we didn't, we didn't <laughs> talk about we didn't even talk about drugs like that whole 43 minutes. We did not talk that, about wow. any drugs at all that's that's because perfect. drugs are wrong. Drugs are bad. You hear that, Don't mom? Do don't I believe drugs. that drugs are wrong. So if you're listening to this, they're wrong. Anyway, we talked about a lot of drugs, actually. Yeah, Dad, I only smoke weed. We basically, we basically just told a bunch of druggy stories, and then uh, his power went out. So you didn't. <laughs> well, I, you you really know. didn't miss anything. Depending on your worldview, you didn't miss much. Um, no, we'll, we'll try again. We'll see if it's better off this time. If you're wondering where Mason and Zuckles are, I'm also wondering. Who knows? They could be dead. I haven't heard anything. Um, no, they, they're they're. Their situation will improve soon, and they'll be on. I keep saying they're going to be on the next episode. I promise they'll be on the next yeah, episode. Yeah, they That's will. A we'll hold them to one. Okay. If you're wondering where Toby is, he's just he's just not here. He's tired. <laughs> so he's tired. He's tired. <laughs> and he's streaming. Oh, he's he's tired. He's too tired to do the podcast. He's too tired to <laughs> talk, um, but not not to yeah. stream. I guess. I mean, he was live. Yeah, he was live streaming right now. Yeah, like he's he's. He's but no, Toby, when you apparently. when you when you listen to this, we love you and it's okay and we understand. All right, don't speak for everyone, fucking asshole. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> enough about my issues with Toby. Let's let's talk more about our special guest, Raccoon Eggs. Rack, you've been uh, yeah. blowing up on YouTube this whole year. You're now a big boy. I remember I, I already said all this in the last podcast, but I'm just going to say it again. <laughs> I, I found I, I found I discovered Raccoon Eggs. I don't know how I actually found out about your channel, whether it was because I knew of Carson before you, your friend Carson. Right. Uh, but Probably I don't think narrator. Through... Maybe narrator? Maybe narrator. I think yeah, I, I think I just found you like through Twitter or, or I, something. You followed me on Twitter the same day that I found you and commented on one of your videos because I made it into oh. a video and I said, hey, I'm here oh. at this timestamp. And then I can only assume yes. you, you went to my channel off of that. You're like, who the fuck is this prick? You found me. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, so I was on a surf server recording um, back when I could still record on surf servers without getting yelled at. And uh, rip. And yeah, rip surf server videos. And um, yeah, Rack was just in the background just saying shit. Like, I think he cracked a joke maybe. And like people in my comments were like, oh my God, it's Rack. Oh my God, it's Rack. And Rack was like real small at the time. Like absolutely pathetic. Like less than 3,000 <laughs> subscribers. Um, <laughs> but anyway, he leaves this comment on my video being like, uh, that was me or whatever. I fucking can't remember. I don't have time to remember these things. And um, I must have checked out your channel. And dude, like I, re I remember vividly watching your how-to videos, like your tutorial videos, and thinking at the time, like, fuck, this guy's something special. Like he really is. His comedy is like really good. Um, and so I followed you on Twitter. And I think I said like, grats on 3K. And then you were like, hey, thanks. And I was like, okay, kind of a lackluster reaction. But, you know, that's, that's fine. Like maybe we could hang out sometime. And you were like, okay, cool. And ever since that day, we've been kind of, you know, yeah. buddies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been buddies. Um, and, and now, you know, you've quit your job. You've got 750,000 subscribers all in the space of this year since I found you. It's probably not even a year. It's, it's, it's absolutely nuts. Like you've really blown up in a way that like was even, it was bigger than anyone in our group, I think, is, in terms of skyrocketing to, you know, yeah. Where you are now. Well, because because it all started in April of 2017, so it'd be like yeah, a year and a few months. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think you like um, for like a few months, you kind of like gradually climbed to 10k. I think that's when you sort of started like playing with our group from time to time and like yeah, had you in some sessions and you're in a few videos. But I mean, like it wasn't until you really you kind of 
started making more videos of you fucking around on surf surface and stuff and messing with people and that was what really caught on yeah yeah because and, the, and the, you were the, the video and go on i said i was just gonna say like you didn't like even put us in those videos that was like all you you had like one video i think with us in the thumbnail and title but that, i mean that's like that's it like the rest of it was all you just doing your own comedy with your own friends yeah and you just sick. totally made it on your own um and yeah like I said this very last, anal about being independent. Yeah, which is good. I, I really respected that. And I think that's definitely the way to go. Like when you're playing with a big group of YouTubers, because mm. otherwise you're going to be always dependent on them. Like you really, it's better to earn it on your own. Right. And you, and you really did that. So that's awesome. Um, I, I thought it was, I thought it was funny seeing you go through the same exact like thing that I went through starting off like doing my shit like on surf yeah where I would speak and then people would go is that the war owl that's the war owl that's the war owl right there and with yeah. you it's it's is that and swagger I'm the souls next rung on yeah. The ladder. yeah yeah it's funny it's funny how many fucking dms or comments I get uh whenever I have you in a video or whenever I'm in one of your videos where there's just comments like, I thought raccoon eggs and swagger were the same person. Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. Not even like mistaken the voices, but like yeah. people that think we're literally the same person with two accounts. It's so strange. I don't even understand yeah. that. You know there's what? We need, like a, that. we need to talk. At the, we're talking at the same time. We need to talk at the same time, Rack. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hello. See? We're not the same person. Exactly. <laughs> Let us know in the five-star reviews down below if you think they're the same person. <laughs> um, no, they, they sound totally different. I, I honestly don't understand why people yeah. leave those comments. But, you know... And neither do I. You know, and speaking of, like, watching Rat go through similar things that you went through, it's, it's funny seeing, like, his, like, growth now and, like, he's reaching a point now, and, and, as you said to me, where... Like you're getting recognized way too much on these servers. It's actually like making it hard to record your your videos on these servers, which was kind of like, I guess. I mean, would you say like it was like the main crux of your channel was fucking with strangers like on CS:GO, yeah, random lobbies, yeah, and stuff? for sure. Because that was that was initially what like skyrocketed my channel out of nowhere. Yeah, was uh, yeah CS:GO stand up. I think that was an entire video of just talking to people on surf yeah. and making them fucking cry. Of laughter, yeah, and yeah, that that was like what my the main focus of my channel was. That's what I wanted it to be, but now it's kind of like I join a server, and instead of anybody focusing on wanting to actually talk to me, it's more like everybody deep throating their mic and going, "Holy shit, is that the real raccoon eggs? Oh my god, I can't believe he's in my game. Oh my god, yeah, you know, shit like that it makes it hard to 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 record. Can you sign my profile? <laughs> That's why I went through the exact same thing. No, I lost my pencil. <laughs> oh, it's funny, like yeah, we we also blew up off of surfing videos. Although we stopped doing them way faster than you did, I'm actually surprised yeah. that you hung in there for as long as you did. Like you still incorporate it into your videos, even oh, now. I'm still doing but them. Yeah, like, I, I I still can get good surf footage. It's just harder. Like I got really good footage today that I'm gonna probably edit after the podcast. Awesome. So it's definitely not dead, but it's on the way out. I might need to find a a proper like replacement eventually yeah. well i gave up real real quick after yeah. like fortnite <laughs> what play fortnite with us rack join the dark side rack rack dislikes no nah, it's I'm not good. as cup of shield as you, For as you tweeted. <laughs> For, <yeah. laughs> not my joke that's rack's joke i just stole rack's joke he's a fucking yeah so he's a funny guy putting that on merch <laughs> you should that would, I would actually sell like fucking for real oh yeah um, sell like hotcakes I know. Uh, get sued by epic games but yeah hating fortnite is cool sell as, we, well. as we talked about in the last uh, episode yeah no um you know how how um how's this year i guess been for you personally like have you noticed any changes to your ego have you bought any lamborghinis um you like it. oh well my sub count is a lot bigger and i'm a lot more attractive and i just have a lot more sex wow. in general sweet same same here. Same, same over here. I... <laughs> <laughs> what about you on <laughs> oh, yeah yeah same. i have lots of sex all the time um <laughs> Guy yeah that's why they call me on nut. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it is you nut into your hand vaginas anyway. oh, okay Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what we were saying before your power shut out and we unfortunately lost 45 minutes worth of recording was that uh you moved out of home and like we were we were basically talking about how your parents felt about your um your channel ah, so yes. let's pick up there. yeah this is this is yeah that's a story i can tell again well yeah so okay uh december 31st uh 2017 i have 30k subs i drop 
uh, CSGO stand-up. And then by the end of the month, I'm at like 120K because people post shit from that video on iFunny. Oh. And it gets me a lot of traction. Yeah. And then God it bless. keeps going and going and going. And yeah, now I've gotten like, what, 700K in six months? Wild. Uh, I don't think that it's... Yeah, it's wild. I like. I still look back and I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? Yeah. Um. I, I wouldn't say it's like m really made a change to who I am. I kind of still feel like the same person. Yeah. Um. I guess maybe I just have more confidence because I made it. <laughs> wow. But Settle down, that, fucking ego. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, no, we were actually we talked yeah, about this no, in the episode. It's gone into my head. We talked about this in the pilot episode of the podcast. Um, where it's like you expect like big youtubers because you're like when you're when you have no subs like 700k is a big youtuber to you right whereas now like yeah. 750k is like actually pathetic like it's not even worth like even i don't even know why people talk to those people um oh okay i see how it is <laughs> <But> <laughs> i hate it i hate it when there's like silence after i say shit like that because i'm like oh man like now i just look like a jerk uh no but um <laughs> um what was i saying yeah we were we were saying like how in reality what happens is like you get to like these milestones and then like reality catches up and you've been in the position for a month or whatever. And it's like, this is the new norm. And you're looking around and you're like, I'm a fucking just a regular ass guy. Like I always was like, what the fuck? Well, for, for some reason, I just have this great job now and I don't know what to yeah. do and who the fuck knows what's going to happen. So, um, totally relatable dude. Hashtag going with the flow. Um, but you know, you're going to be experiencing a bit of the YouTuber. Well, you know, not really, but you're, you're coming to Germany with us, basically. Uh, I was going to say that Gamescom! you're going to... Yeah, we're going to Gamescom. It's all confirmed now. Um, Rack is coming, and all the boys are coming in the Misfits, and maybe some special guests as well. The boys. Yeah, boy. So, we're going to Cologne. Okay, Swagger did this fucking thing. Can we not do <laughs> this shit this again? thing in the last recording <laughs> that we lost, where he pronounced it Cologne, and we had to have like a five-minute conversation with him about how it's pronounced Cologne and not Cologne. <laughs> But no, we're going to Gamescom, Germany. So if you're in Germany <laughs> or you feel like traveling to Germany to see us, you should do that because we're going to be there and it's going to be lit. Um, no, but Rack's coming and it's our first time hanging out with Rack IRL and we're going to Barcelona and we're going to do a lot of drugs and we're going to get like yeah. 10 podcast stories out of the trip. Should be good. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So this isn't this isn't the first convention Rack's been to. You went to VidCon with Call Me Carson and Narrator. How did that go? Yeah, I did. Uh, that was interesting. That was my first time ever going to a convention, like, or anywhere, I guess, under my YouTube name. Yeah. And I met with some fans, had a good time. I signed a lot of really weird shit. I, I tweeted out, I was doing a fan meetup, and the first guy that comes up is a guy with uh, a condom, and he says, can you sign my <laughs> condom? It's so scuffed. So I do. <laughs> so all I have is this really sharp pencil. <laughs> <laughs> your signature is just poking holes in it for him? That's your signature? <laughs> yeah. Name your son. And after he me. tweets me the picture, and I, I tweeted I tweeted out the picture, and I just said, "I hope the condom breaks." Uh. And then another guy came up to me with a uh, with a fucking a crinkled up receipt, and he was like, "Yo, can you sign my receipt?" <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking good. Wow. I signed a forehead. That was the weirdest shit I signed. Uh, remember that guy in Boston who made us all sign his chest and stuff? Yeah. It was sexy. And he had some kind of bad beer. Damn. No offense yeah. to you if you're listening to this. Um, there was one kid that recognized me just off my voice. As I was walking past him talking to Carson, I just see in my peripheral this kid turn his head and his face just light up <laughs> with the most gleeful expression. Did you have your raccoon mask on? And he's on? like, no, I was just talking. Ah. And I hadn't done a face reveal. But he just recognized me off of the voice. He turns and his face lights up and he's like, Raccoon? And I'm like, Yeah, oh, here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. All right, where am I signing? Oh, How many fans do you reckon you met and like um, signed shit for? How many do you reckon turned out if you had to estimate? Oh, uh, like, yeah, when I tweeted out I was doing the meetup, I'd say probably like 40, 50 That's people. Good. That's pretty good. Total. That's a good turnout. Oh, yeah. Um, Gamescom, just to let you know, probably will be. Well, I don't want to like hype it up, but we'll do, there'll probably be a lot of people there. I hope. I don't know. We've never like done a convention, and I guess you guys went to IEM. Uh, was it IEM that you went to in Europe? Or what? Which yeah. no, which one was Europe? Did we go to? No, it was Katowice. Katowice. Who rack? No, you guys. Katowice. Yeah, Katowice. Katowice. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was Katowice. Whatever. But um, no, there'll be a. I mean, hopefully there'll be a big turnout of people there. I know that at Sydney, oh. there were a lot of people. Um, we didn't even announce that one either. Yeah, Sydney was crazy. So we just, yeah, like, I mean, we're going to be announcing this, I think. The prerequisite is going to be announcing that we're doing that in a video as well. Yeah. 
So there's probably going to be a larger turnout at Gamescom, which I'm pretty excited for. I saw my. It's always good, but Sydney was really nuts because, like, okay, just to explain, there was a CS:GO tournament um, in Sydney, which was like lots of pro teams playing. It was IEM. That was IEM, right? Yeah, that was IEM. Yeah, that was Intel Extreme Masters CS:GO tournament, and um, we walked into the convention center. And there's like a signing booth already set up with a pro team. I don't really want to say which one, but there was like a pro team there with all these like people in line to go and get signatures from them. We walk into the convention center. Everyone from that line leaves and comes over to us <laughs> <laughs> like immediately and starts like we taking photos of us. The line. Like it was, so, it was so funny, but kind of uh, awkward at the same time. But yeah, yeah they was, were they were fucking with security because of my helmet too. Oh uh, yeah, they wouldn't let Swagger in because. Uh, yeah. That's the that's the one thing I thought was cool was was it was Rack wearing the rack the the raccoon mask everywhere because I was like oh I'm not alone he's having a pain in the ass time along with me you know and no. and then he no, did a fuck fucking that. I'm not going to subject beard. myself to yeah. that I would have rather wore that fucking mask than the helmet because the helmet the helmet weighs a fuck ton along with the chainmail it's like. Seven yeah, kilo? Yeah, but you can actually see out of it, right? I can see out of it pretty well, but I'm wearing a fucking helmet. I have no peripheral. It's also hard and to have conversation with them. Walking downstairs is fucked. I'd, I'd rather be able to see and just, just carry the weight because I can't see out of the raccoon mask. There's a part in my VidCon vlog where I try to run up to a girl that's holding a free hug sign, and I just... <laughs> oh, I saw that. You just <laughs> ran around. You just hug up a, a random guy by accident. I just, I just can't find her. Yes, <laughs> nice. I can't see out of that thing. It's hilarious. But yeah, that was a good face reveal, by the way. Better than mine. Thanks, I put a lot of work into it. Yeah. It For those of you who don't know, Rack revealed his face recently, and it was just a seven-second video uh, where he just takes off his mask and goes, sup, bitches, and then the video ends. Um, which is a pretty... I mean, that's honestly probably the one of the best ways of doing it. You know, you just got it out of the way, and um, yeah, that shit... Yeah, mine was like, a shit show. Mine was fucked. Yours was good, but I mean... It would have been nicer if it, was messy. if it took them like a week to figure it out. And not like yeah, I should have made it way fucking harder. Yeah, uh, that, That'll be for two mil, three mil? I don't know. But hey, you but, got uh, PewDiePie in the video, yeah. so that's pretty pocket. Yeah, I got PewDiePie in the video. Yeah, and I nuked my fucking Discord wait. server. Fucking nuked it. It's fucked. Wait, so for two mil, you're going to do another face reveal puzzle that also doesn't lead to your face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I might, like, because I said in my in my 10K sub special, like, I'll reveal a quarter of my face every million. But I'm probably going to go back on that and just keep it at that quarter and then and then just, never reveal my face. Just reveal the same quarter every time. <laughs> 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 like make the next puzzle really hard to figure out like it takes like three months someone finally gets it and it's the same one. corner like it's an actual oh. real life scavenger hunt like you have to like dig into like the desert oh and, like, find dude it. yeah I'll oh. just straight up like some cicada shit like posters with qr codes oh in paris God. yeah maybe 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 i'll do that uh, who knows yeah maybe. no but um the point is germany is going to be great and uh if you are coming to gamescom then you're going to be able to meet all of us hopefully and that's going to be sick and we can't wait I, i'm so excited um it's gonna be banger it's i just love traveling with the boys i've really missed i don't know like i i'm more excited for this trip than i have been for any other trip i don't know what it is i think it's maybe because i haven't been to europe before um and uh this is just, this is gonna be a big group of boys and we're just gonna have i mean a great it's gonna time. be it's gonna be everyone i'm it's, excited it's me you i notorious raccoon uh james ski Zuckles and Jay, like, and plus their two managers. It's going to be, and you know, Bucks, it's going to be a lot will, of people. Bucks there. Will be and Bucks. Yeah. Well. And didn't know James Ski was going to be there. Cool. Yeah, James yeah, is going to be at Gamescom, uh, so we'll see him there for sure. Yeah. Um, it's going to be bang. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Everyone is going to be there. Yeah, dude, I'm hella excited. I, I always listen to your podcast, and I'm like, wow, these guys are just as fucked up as I am. Why am I not going to events with these <laughs> yeah, guys? I, um, fucking. Yeah. Now you're welcome. I, mean, I had a conversation with manager Ryan and uh, the other day because I, I just introduced them because, you know. Oh, gonna... is this the dab story? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not that. We can talk about that. No, like I'm talking about the first time I was like, yo, you should talk to my manager Ryan because like, you know, you're going to be with them on the trip anyway. And like, you should just, you know, get to know him or whatever. Yeah. And the Ryan just replies, oh, that's the dude that puked in his nachos. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's great. And yeah, like 
we were talking again the other night with me, you, Ryan, and Sam, and um, I was I was about it. I was about to light a dab. I just started heating up the rig, and then I got the call from Ryan, and I picked up and I told him I was literally just about to take a dab, but I turned off the torch because I was like, I don't know if that's business savvy. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, it's just Ryan and Sam. <laughs> totally is business light the savvy dab anyway. with us. And yeah. it's just you know we're so blessed that we live in a world where we can light dabs in our business meetings if we want to. Uh, <laughs> it's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What a life. What a life. What a strange fucking life. Yeah. No. Hopefully I want to. I want to get to the part where I'm like 45 and and everyone's you know the same age and then we're just sitting around a table like all corporate and shit. This is when like we become super corporate and we're just taking dab <laughs> rigs and suits. Misfits Co. Like, <laughs> it's gum. we're it's got, like, a building loaded. and shit. We're like fucking millionaires. <laughs> we're just, we're just we're sitting just there taking dabs around the table. In a business What's meeting, trendy? Ryan's still vomiting into his nachos. <laughs> 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 like we run half the talent on YouTube. <laughs> oh, fuck. That'd no, be the dream. crazy. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, by now, if you listen to the podcast, you should have a good idea for just how fucking scuffed our entire group is. Um, it's great it's a beautiful thing and i i you know i love that about us i think that's our I brand cherish it. and um it's kind of crazy to think that i think part of what made me so excited for this upcoming trip is i know when i'm getting fucked up over there that i'm technically working because it's giving us podcast stories <laughs> <laughs> like i'm gonna be yes, thinking that great. i want to have a moment where we're high and like i look at swagger or i look at inut and i'm like guys we're working right now and we all just start <laughs> laughing because <laughs> it's true you know like we're actually fucking no up. i like my bucket list is to is to is to have a smoke off with rack oh and, yeah and, and see who can get more fucked up mm. so so i already I, I'm do that with my friends this. anyway so oh, I'm dude, down. i can't wait i i'm i've only been smoking myself you know i haven't i haven't really been doing smoke offs with friends so Damn. we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna see we're gonna have our own we're gonna have our own ksi logan paul fight except before I you, before I got a weird. place before I got a place with my roommate, we would do that kind of shit where we'd have a last hit competition. Like as we were going to bed, we just keep passing the bong back and forth because because we, we both want we both wanted to get the last hit. We just insisted. Oh. We just wouldn't quit. Yikes! What's the most high you've ever been? That must have been fun. Like, do you have a story about the most high you've ever been, or is it mostly pretty mellow? Um, I once took like four or five edibles that each had like 100 milligrams right so it was like Woo! 400 or 500 milligrams so like so like the average and, uh, duckless dosage yeah pretty much <laughs> and i don't even really remember what the fuck i did i know i was at a friend's place i think we just like we just watched videos and like talked and shit but i don't remember anything we talked about because i was so just out of my head yeah edibles are crazy but it was fun it was a really yeah crazy. edibles will fuck you yeah Yikes. Um, cool. <laughs> oh, so, I, get, I mean, I guess that covers Germany. Um, I can't wait to come back and tell you guys what happened and shit, but uh, you'll have to wait for that. Um, what about VidCon? Do you have any VidCon stories with uh, with Narrator and Carson that were interesting? Yeah, Narrator got really... Narrator got very angry at one point uh, because Carson deadbolted the door to one of the hotel rooms and wouldn't let him in. So he started throwing <laughs> his he, he started he started taking off his shoes and throwing them at the door. <laughs> uh. were, were you guys high at all or drunk? No, no, we were very sober. <laughs> wow, that's great. That's just that's just the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck. Oh man, it's almost ridiculous that people like us can have youtube subscribers and uh acclaim any <laughs> level of success it really it's is. amazing it really we live in a us. fucking fantastic world we live in a society um we, we took we took edibles at vidcon but a lot of like the shit that people were 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 looking at in the vidcon vlog and being like yo you guys are so high yeah for this like we weren't even high for it i we knew were you were sober arrived. for that shit I oh knew my it. god i was like like they they look so high but i know this is just them at normal this is this bit deep. Yeah, no, that's just that's <laughs> that's just how we actually are. Yeah, and Carson doesn't even like d fuck with weed at all. He's like totally against it. Really interesting. Really? Yeah. Well, fair enough. You know, is he is he against other people doing it, or is he just kind of like nah, like I don't want to? do No, it he personally. doesn't. He doesn't care if other people do it. He just doesn't want to do it himself. It's outside of his morals. Fair Fine. enough. Fine. Fine by me. Um, yeah, I w wouldn't have expected that from Carson to be morally righteous. I know, but... right? I know, right? <laughs> That's but, a mind fuck. Like he, he, he of all people, but the yeah, guy who makes just... videos of him laughing at pictures of toilets on Discord is uh, <laughs> apparently a real moral guy. 
So, is he is he religious at all? I don't know. You don't have to tell us if you think he'd want us to know. Or no, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's not. <laughs> Interesting. So Imagine just... if Call Me Carson was just a huge like Mormon, like just <laughs> gigantic Mormon. <laughs> he looks kind of like a Mormon. Yeah, like he wears the Mormon <laughs> underwear and everything. That'd be fuck. That'd be a riot. Yeah, he's part of the Tabernacle Choir. Yeah, it's like raccoons Jewish, <laughs> and Carson's Mormon. It good, fucking works. It's it'd a, perfect. It'd be a good video idea for us to dress up like Mormons and like <laughs> go <laughs> around. <laughs> That'd be a great video idea. Yeah. Um, okay. I have my helmet on and everything. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's talk more about your channel and shit, Rack. Like, um, where do you? See- I love talking about me. <sighs> so do I. Um, when do you? Where do you like see your channel like going and stuff? If the surf stuff like gets too out of hand and you literally can't get any footage. Like what are you what are you gonna do about it? Uh, I guess you know for CS I would just do matchmaking stuff if I really can't get anything on Surf, yeah. and then I'd probably fill the gap by making videos on other games that I can actually get content on, yeah. preferably stuff I can interact with random people and make them laugh on. Right. Mm. So. Yeah, shit. Cause you're you're gonna fuck, man. You're gonna hit a million subs by the end of the year, no doubt. Unless you like never upload again, which you know I wouldn't recommend. But whatever. Have, have you tried Comedy Night? Oh yeah, I have. I, I didn't. I try it with you guys. Yeah, you did. A long time I, ago. I think so. Did you make a video out of it? No, you didn't. No, never did. I definitely don't have the footage anymore either. Yeah, I actually Shit. had some quite banger comedy night footage that I deleted because I just would never use it. But now that I have my second channel, like, I kind of wish I kept it. Cause yeah. I don't know. Comedy night's not a big game. Is the only thing you know, like it's it no, might not do thing. well view wise. Niche. It was for like a week. Yeah. And now it's already. Dead. I'm pretty sure now it would just be like totally toxic, you know. Like oh yeah, just only, yeah. Only retards played it, like screaming. I actually, shit. actually, I revisited Comedy Night. I I think like a month ago. I forgot about this. I revisited it while I was really fucking high, and my friend was over. Mm-hmm. We both got on, and I put the I put the sound on my speakers, and every room we joined was just people speaking like Portuguese or something. <laughs> like, there was literally nobody speaking English. Uh, on U.S. It, servers, too. It rode, it rode the unturned train to being, like, this massively popular global thing to, uh, like, in, in a year. Only Brazilians and Russian people playing it. Yikes. I wonder why that is. I wonder why it goes to that. They're a huge audience of people. Like, it's... I think people often forget how big, like, the Spanish-speaking audience is for everything. So, like, so oftentimes when, like, things become this popular in the Western world, like they get picked up by like or they're still immensely popular because it's like it's basically just like a second western world almost it's that big you know everything's got a different cultural appeal yeah like some things will be like ah this clicks with brazilians you know yeah i kind (laughs) of wish i could speak brazilian so i can make a second channel that's like you know spanish what you mean spanish yeah shut up asshole i I realize what (laughs) i said portuguese (laughs) portuguese whatever i wish i could speak fucking you know Latino, uh, oh, fuck, am I racist? I'm racist. Um, <laughs> All right. Forget it. Moving on. Just a bit. You know, there's a lot of views on that side of YouTube. That's what I'm saying. Um, no, okay. Um, what, uh, look. Um, nice. I'm looking. <laughs> I, I, re- just, I really have to, It's so I, hard to re- re-record this podcast because we already covered so much stuff in the last one before Rex powered out that it's like, do we say stuff again? Do we? I have to. I have to piss really bad. Oh my god! We told you I, to go before I, this. You I, had like a. I know. Like, I have. An, I have an empty Gatorade bottle here, but I don't know if 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 I if I'm ready for this. You're gonna or piss on our podcast. I mean, it's the worst that could happen. I mean, do whatever you want, but don't put that shit up to the mic. You know, like just from a distance, please. Like I really don't want to hear that shit, and I'm sure the viewers at home do not want to hear that. Right, right now, like. They're screaming like, we want to hear it. We want to hear Daddy swear ourselves piss in a fucking bottle. Um, that's how you guys <laughs> sound. That's how the audience sounds. Um, no. Okay. <clears throat> Are you... Uh... Great. Do we like keep talking over you while you do this? Or do we just listen? Or... Oh, they're... It's fucking up to you. Okay. Um... Do you, you really want... awkwardly I mean, and listen. Can... Yeah, I mean, we can cut see this. If we can see if the mic squeezes through a few drops. Might be the best. Let me lock my door in case my dad walks in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot that you're living at home temporarily. Yeah, I know. It blows. Your dad, yeah, because we, we recorded some CSGO before this and Swagger did a lot of screaming. So it would be kind of, weird, kind of a weird day for your dad to hear that through the walls 
finally come up to check on you and he just sees you on discord dick in hand pissing into it and he's pissing uh, the, what the yeah, fuck yeah. were you what the fuck were you screaming for earlier oh i was just trying to open the gatorade bottle <laughs> finally gets it two hours later um, finally gets it just to dump it out and piss in it <laughs> oh it's frothy no i don't i don't think we need the i don't think we need the details yeah you guys can keep going i i'm fine i can have a convo um okay how Fuck, I, I, I'm at a total loss for conversation. I'm so sorry. Can someone else fucking please ask a question? There we go. Oh, Great. it's warm. Cool. Awesome. All right, I'm going to put that over here. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a question. Great. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yeah, was that inappropriate? Yeah, well... Prop, prop, maybe? Yes, but this whole podcast is kind of inappropriate. Well, it depends who you're asking. I mean, we could we can cut it out. No. We're... We'll commit? We'll commit to it? <sighs> maybe. We'll see. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't judge me. What a disastrous, a what a disastrous afternoon. Um, <laughs> it's always like this. <laughs> it's really not normal. Oh, I can't bad. believe I just pissed in a bottle. First time for everything. I've never pissed in a bottle before. Have you ever pissed in a bottle rack? No. I, I can't say I have. I usually use the toilet. You should try it. It's fun. Hey, Swagger, in your dorm room at college, did you have a sink in your room? No. I had a sink in my room, and I pissed in that thing every day. You pissed in your sink? Yeah. Because look, at college, like, here's the did thing. you have any roommates? No. So I was in a university hall and everyone has their own room with like a sink where you can brush your teeth in it and shit. I'm telling you, dude, there's no way that every guy didn't piss in that sink because you have to like walk to the communal like bathrooms and stuff. But if you're drunk or hung over, like, yeah, you're not going to be fucked to do that. You're not going to not use the sink, you know, or if it's really cold in the morning, take a quick trip to the sink. And um, yeah, I pissed in that fucking sink every day. So there, I just got that off my chest. Um, I mean, you're you're fucking fa- you're, you're tall as hell. So that, that yeah, it was easy. It's like a urinal. It was really easy. Like it was no splashback. I could get it right down the drain. I like planked on top of the uh, sink and I inserted. Yeah, my- I need to. St- I need to. <laughs> I need to stand on a chair. <laughs> and saying that on the podcast <laughs> must be a huge weight off your shoulders, huh? Whew, I'm really glad that it's out there now. I've been sitting on that one for months. You know, I've really had to get that out into the public space. I thought about tweeting it. Didn't think it would work as a tweet, so I'm glad that it's out there now. Cool. Um, okay, so how how long were you doing YouTube before um, shit took off, Rack? <laughs> um, <laughs> right back into it. If right, we're going to cut, yeah. this is where we're going to cut straight to. So, yeah. Right. yeah, so, yeah, like I said before, right, December, like New Year's was the turning point from when it went from 300K to, to whatever the fuck it is now. And before that, I had been doing YouTube for, I think, two years exactly yeah really? no because i started on uh in january of 2015 i believe right i think that's what it was yeah or actually it might have been 2016 it was 2016 yeah really? so and then and then i remember that because january 21st 2018 was the or the 2016 was the day i posted my first video january 21st 2018 was when i hit 100k exactly two years after interesting that's very similar to Shit. what i what was the same for me um did you ha- like want to be a youtuber like that whole like before you started youtube and stuff like was it oh yeah an no the entire time when did yeah, you s- i had a, i had old channels when i was younger too that were awful and oh, just the worst same. but what, it was what were all they? like could you explain the content part of, of, part of your- my dream uh well let's like just Minecraft? say there's a there's a video out there that that some people have found of me getting stung by a bee and <laughs> screaming and running as fast as I can and it's from <laughs> when I was like 12 years old. Wow! Holy shit! Yeah, I had a, I had a channel when I was like 12 as well, but it was like a tutorial channel um, where like I would teach people how to like download fonts from like dafont.com and stuff. <laughs> I, <laughs> here's the thing, you guys know who MKBHD is, right? No. Yeah. No. How do you not know who MKBHD is? He's the biggest tech review ch- channel like out there right now. Like, does like never heard of him. I don't suck. watch tech review channels. Well, no, he's so I big. Hung my router he's, out like, a window. he's like the Casey Neistat of tech reviews. He's got like ten million subs or whatever. He's massive. You should know about him, even if you don't watch. Like, I don't watch him much anymore. Um, but I was a huge fan of his. Like when he was really small. Like when he was like a. He was like, man, how, I don't even know how young he was when he started doing YouTube. But he was like a kid. Um, and he was doing these videos of like him like doing tutorials and shit and like they were like low quality but he was getting somewhere because no one was really doing that at the time and i really wanted to be like him when i was 12 so i was like i can do that i had this garbage fucking microphone which was like a plastic clip-on microphone that i clipped onto my shirt and i sat in my room on my family laptop and i tried to make these fucking horrific videos um 
and you know <laughs> that was that was me they got like one of them got like 2,000 views so nice pumped, you know? hey uh, it's not bad yeah when i was like seven or eight i would i would make video i would make gaming videos on my wii where i would just prop up a camera on a book and film my tv screen <laughs> <laughs> and I, I recall I recall one of the videos was probably just like four or five minutes straight of me just playing like a Zelda game and screaming every time I died. And I remember the only comment I got on that video was, this is why parents need to beat their kids. <laughs> <laughs> what am I... Fuck. Um, Fuck. <laughs> speaking of that, this is weird, but it reminds me of... Um, I think it was your shower thoughts video where like you just basically read off a bunch of like random shit that was in your notes um, or your Twitter draft. Yeah. And uh, my favorite part about that video that you did was the like in between segments where it was like IRL footage of you with your raccoon mask just saying random shit to the camera. Oh, yeah. And like one of them was oh, just yeah. like you just like turn around and you did pan just say my dad beats me when he, when we lose our Snapchat streak. <laughs> <laughs> and that just fucking just completely slays me every time. Fuck. So that's that, that's pretty popular. That's get, that gets quoted to this day. I, I should put that. that on some merch or something. I love that video. I really think that like, um, especially now that you're finding it harder to get footage on surf servers, I think you should make more solo videos like that. Do more shit like that. Yeah, and definitely yeah. more like how to videos. Um, I don't know about the how tos. The how tos are a fucking pain in the yeah, ass to make. I, I don't want to make those. Notorious, notorious yeah. Convex, yeah. because he, he's kind of in the same boat. It gets really annoying to make videos in that format after a while, I but imagine. I definitely would do shower thoughts too. For those of you who don't know Raccoon, um, before he started blowing up off surf and stuff, he used to make these videos where it was like how to, and it was like basic tutorials on how to do like retarded shit, like how to resurrect your dead friend or whatever, or how to, how to raise a raccoon, how to like survive a hurricane. And they're how not to be an alpha male. How oh, to be yeah. an alpha male. And one. it's just like, it's like, imagine like Leafy, but like he's actually entertaining isn't annoying and is it's like fucking hilarious and there's, and there's visuals and too. there's visuals yeah. so it's like he's it's just footage of him surfing with like visuals and shit and it's just like the whole thing you i presume you have to script the whole thing right you have to like write it all down oh yeah of course and it's just rapid fire dialogue like teaching how to do shit so and it's good. real funny and punctual um yeah those are the videos i found when i first found your channel i was like holy shit this is amazing so that's why i think i i'm like please do more but obviously scripting a whole video is really hard i would know yeah um yeah <laughs> um we even script the podcast this is all scripted yeah every every stammer every uh running out of things to say it's all here baby you missed you missed an uh in that sentence you're right you know like we kind of ad lib it sometimes we're kind of creative like that uh, all right from the top uh, what are your what were your inspirations on youtube rack when you were a youngin or even now hmm that's a that's a hard question. I don't know. I've I feel like I've idolized so many YouTubers. It's hard to pick a favorite. Yeah, not not to pick a favorite, but just you know, if you want to name some, or you want to. I, I mean, I guess when I was younger, uh, I was really into like Smosh and shit. That was like my jam when yeah. I was like twelve. True. Yeah, I was the same. I liked uh, I liked Niga Higa. Oh wait, can I say that on the podcast? Is that... <laughs> I liked uh, I, I liked I liked Leafy for like a for like a hot minute before he turned into complete shit. Like yeah. back when he was making uh, drug videos. Yeah, I like that like, as well. I, I fucked same with, with those. Luna. I thought those were good. Luna, yeah, I liked Luna for a bit too, but then I kind of just started to realize that most of the stories probably weren't that real. Yeah, yeah, he probably heavily embellished a lot of them. Yeah, there was a time when Leafy was actually entertaining. Um, that it very quickly died it's kind of sad actually but i guess like a lot of the stories were made up and maybe he wanted to stop making up stories and start ragging on kids so you know whatever yeah um. <laughs> i actually liked a lot of leafy's comedy i liked his deadpan like dumbass tone whenever he spoke yeah Just something about his delivery like made me yeah. laugh oh yeah no it was definitely like there was a good part of his career that was actually like not bad content i think but i mean it very quickly like got old i'd say oh and especially well, yeah. when he started yeah. just being kind of a terrible person very quickly yeah like, it, oh, it shows this is uh this is kind of weird now um i wonder what leave is up to man didn't he get like a picture of his asshole leaked or something <laughs> it was his dick yeah it was, yeah it was his penis yeah i'm pretty sure he leaked his ass as well i'm pretty sure that was leaked too 
I, I have a specific image in my mind of Leafy's asshole that can never be erased from my memory. Uh, <laughs> let me look. Let me look it up. Leafy, don't look it up. Don't don't do that to yourself. Leafy is here, asshole. I because like I don't what I don't understand about Leafy is like he revealed his face. Yeah. No which asshole. He should not have done. Like if he didn't really reveal his face, he could probably just go back to a totally normal life. But I imagine now he still gets recognized and shit, and people probably give him a hard time in public. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I wonder how he deals with that. Last. Last I heard from him is that he's invested most of the money he's making off of YouTube, and he's just kind of living off of that. That's yeah. that's all I really heard. So well, that would be the smart know, thing to do. Yeah, he stopped making videos and he's riding his wave. So whatever, whatever. Possibly whatever possibly. happened to like? Do you guys remember Grade A under A? Oh yeah, uh, whatever happened. He disappeared. He does. He announced he was gonna. He was gonna like come back and start making videos and then never post it again. Yeah, it was like nine months ago. It was like Grade A under A season two. Doesn't and post. then yeah, and then, <laughs> and then <just> never <laughs> nothing. It. Didn't he turn out to be kind of a scumbag or something like? Yeah, he oh, turned. Yeah. He turned out to be a scumbag too. I'm pretty sure he he was in the whole bandwagon against Keemstar. Yeah, yeah everyone in that 2016 drama sphere, like, there's no objective like that guy, like that guy, or like, oh, like that guy. And it's it, it, like all of them, all of them, you know, fucked up and and all of them are kind of scummy. The only one, I, you know? I mean, Pyro Seneca definitely survived that and is a good cunt now. And, um, well, yeah, um, he wasn't really in that drama, though, I guess. There well, was no, a bit of drama he had that them, one thing, not too he had deeply. that one thing with Keemstar and that was it. Yeah. And then, and then he, he laid off and that was that. Yeah. But, but Pyro's, yeah, Pyro's the only one that, yeah, Pyro's pretty, pretty Speaking tight. of which, uh, H3, 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 I, I used to watch a lot of, uh, H3, H3, yeah. but his content kind of got not as good, but his old stuff is like still fucking classic to me. For sure. Oh, uh, dude, the fucking, uh, what was it? That's a 10.exe or, uh. It was something like oh, the guy the- <laughs> eating the ice cream. <laughs> that old, like, surreal. Yeah, yeah, where he's, like, gone. smacking his lips. Yeah. That's a ton. Nice. <laughs> right. Yikes. Okay. That's a 10. Great. Yeah. What are you going to do for one mil, Rack? What am I going to do for one mil? Get a haircut. Are you actually? <laughs> Shave Ooh. your head bald like Mason. Nah, I'm not going to do that. For those of you who don't know, Raccoon's got, like, a Jufro, Um And it's, like, really, like, a large Jufro. Like, he looks like such a Jew. Um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, um... Uh, have you ever had short hair? Like, have you ever like rocked like a short hairstyle? Yeah. How long's it been I, like that? I for? I had I had I had short hair for like most of high school. Um, I I kind of just let it grow out, and I was like, I kind of like it more this way. Yeah. It makes me look like more of a stoner. You so I was like, fuck like it, I'll roll with it. When you say you cut your hair, do you mean like a proper like like short on the sides haircut, or do you mean like just trim it a bit? Yeah, maybe just go get like a fresh fade or something. Let's get it's a been gigantic a I think mohawk. It's probably been like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably been like at least a year since my last haircut. So yikes! Be due time for 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 one mil special, and it'd be funny because it would be like the most underwhelming special of all time. <laughs> Are you gonna like film you going to the barber shop? It's just just me walking into the barber shop asking for the haircut, and then getting the haircut just completely <laughs> unedited. Yeah, just like thirty minutes of footage, <laughs> like, and, and like you're not even talking to your barber because who does that? You're just staring straight ahead at the mirror, and he's just, yeah, doing just staring at my reflection. Yeah, yeah I'm, I like start crying halfway through. Start throwing a tantrum. <laughs> you fucked it up. You fucked it up. It's too short. Ugh. Does it? Do you guys get like? I get that every time I go for a haircut. I like halfway through the haircut. I think, oh no, oh god, no. Like this looks just absolutely terrible. Like he's fucked it up. I'm gonna look so bad. Yeah, every time. And then uh, once he's done, I'm like, oh, I look great. I had that one thing where I went to my salon, and my stylist fucking was like, oh, I'll clean up your beard for you. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. It's a little bit bushy. You know, just make it sharp. She's like, okay. Took a fucking razor, fucking buzzed. It's so short. It's like I almost didn't have a beard anymore, dude. Oh. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here, here's a tip. Thanks. And then I went into my car and I just stared at my reflection. I just went like, cut it too short. <laughs> cut it too short. <laughs> like, man, yeah, so pissed off. I bet the barber. So fucking mad. I bet, like, the barbers can tell, like, when they're fucked up. Because they must be so familiar with, like, the kind of vibe that a customer has after a haircut. Oh. I'm pretty sure that everyone, even if their haircut's absolutely terrible, go, thanks, it looks great. And then, like, you're, like, you're really friendly and stuff. And, but there's just a dead look in their eyes. When they just tell when they get timid. That's when they know. <laughs> yeah. No, no, definitely. <laughs> Fucking definitely. In paren- like, getting a haircut for one mil, in parentheses, has meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> Barber gets shot. Not clickbait. <laughs> 
Great. Okay. Fuck. We really need topics to talk about. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is like. I really wish your parents. Well, I mean, we, we lost we, so much footage. Yeah. <laughs> my mother thinks that my YouTube videos are too offensive. Want want to talk about that? Sure. Yeah. We oh, didn't really get yeah, to the bottom of that. Yeah. Uh, before when we were recording. Yeah. So, so let's, let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, my mom. Uh, yeah. I didn't even finish. I forgot to mention that she watches like all of you guys too. Oh no. Oh god. Oh great. Yeah. So. All right, so basically, my mom just started watching my content after she saw that I was getting big off of YouTube, right? And in my last video, CSGO Wall High, there's a bit in it where I snort salt. I'm playing with JC and Notorious, yeah. and I just snort salt while JC is streaming <laughs> as course. like a ha-ha, funny, he's going to get banned kind of joke. <laughs> and, and then my mom <laughs> watches that, and she calls me, and she's like... You can't put jokes like that in videos. I'm looking at the comments right now. There's a guy right here that says, I just tried snorting salt too. My nose has been burning for two hours. You have too much influence. You can't make these fucked up jokes. Yeah, sure. Like, she's like, she's like, hey, Google bath salts if you, if you don't believe me. And I'm like, I know what bath salts are, mom. All right, fuck off. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll be less offensive, whatever. And then I hang up. And she just, she does that. Like, that's not the first time she's done that. Yeah. She calls me all the time if I if there's something too fucked in a video and is like you can't do that. She did the same thing with. I did a, a joke in a video that was like, "Do you think that that Rosa Parks is just an Aunt Jemima knockoff?" And my mom <laughs> called me. <laughs> my mom called me and was like, "You know the history behind Aunt Jemima, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, the pancake bitch, of course." That's the joke. She was mom. like, "Yeah, you can't be." Yeah, <laughs> that's the joke. It's <laughs> fucked. But yeah, she watches all of you guys too. It's only a matter of time. She she really doesn't want me doing LSD because you know she did LSD when she was nine. She has a lot of bad experiences Wait, with it. Talk about that. What the fuck? <laughs> like, how did that happen? Do you know? My mom grew up. Yeah, my mom grew up in New York in the '60s, and she had a she had kind of a deadbeat brother, and they would basically just go out together. Uh, meet up with a bunch of their fucking nine-year-old friends, drop acid, and then go to a scary movie. What? And my mom oh is my like, God. my mom is like fucking traumatized Holy from her childhood. Shit. No doubt, that's yeah. fucked up. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's whack. Wow. So so because of that, she's very adamant towards LSD. Or well, no, that's the wrong against word. Him. She's against it, basically. Yeah. So she doesn't want me taking it, and she watches all of your guys' videos. She told me like, yeah, I've been watching your your friends. I've been watching. Uh, she tried to pronounce uh, I Notorious and butchered it really bad. She's like, yeah, I've been watching some I Notrious or some shit. Oh, like that. I, I have that a lot. <laughs> I Notrious. <laughs> yeah. I Nutritious. I've got and a lot of interesting ones. I've been watching your other friends. I've been watching Fitz, Swagger, Souls, and John on the radio. You got some funny friends there, champ. And I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> but it's, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, it's, it's weird because she's so old, but she's like still in touch with that kind of comedy. Huh. Yeah. She's, so she she's she likes some of it. She likes she enjoys some of it genuinely. You mean? Yeah. She. Oh yeah. She. You know what she liked a lot in one of your videos, Fitz. Wow. She was laughing really fucking hard at the entire Bapo segment. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> well, she clearly has a very high taste in comedy then, because that was obviously the pinnacle yes. of uh, comedic performance oh, yeah. from my videos. Oh yeah. Yikes! That's so funny. My mom learned very quickly not to watch my videos. I was saying before in the old recording that. Uh, yeah, she literally called me like multiple times doing the same shit. Being like, yeah, you can't say that shit. You can't joke about this. You can't joke about this. And I had to just eventually just be like, look, I just fundamentally disagree with you. And here's why. <coughs> and I mean, after going through that a couple of times, she sort of got it and, you know, yeah. respected that. And, I've, uh, I've kind of gone through that. I mean, pretty much. It's the same for, it must be the same for any comedian. Like all comedians tell fucked up. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, you I know? had the. I'm, I had the. I'm a little scared, dude, that my mom is gonna find the LSD story in Swagger's video. That's that's yeah, why but, I brought that up. All right. But I asked you, I asked you in Twitter DMs. I go, hey, there's a segment that I might want to use for video yeah, where you talk. I know that was go, before. That's fine. That was before you she go, started fine. watching all of my friends' videos. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, nothing I can do about it. So, oh, well. come I to don't, terms. I yeah. she'll go. I, I like don't that. care. Like, yeah, you could always say it was a joke. Pissed. You can always just say it yeah. was a joke. I doubt she's going to be really pissed. Un unless she listens to this podcast and then, then she finds out. Yikes. I wonder if she listens to the Misfits. She, well, I mean, if she watches your videos, Fitz, she's going to find out about it. 
Maybe. Well, it's a good thing that it's a good thing that last fucking recording got erased. <laughs> yeah, because we racked on a bunch of drug stories on that last recording <laughs> <laughs> before his power went out. Which is why, like, we're sorry if this oh. episode seems like a little clunky or like we're like struggling for topics because we literally talked about quite a lot yeah, in the we, last episode. Yeah, we did. That we just yeah, don't really want to like repeat the, itself. Yeah, we don't want to repeat the stories because <laughs> like it would kind of just be lame because we wouldn't be reacting to them for the first time. Maybe in a later episode when like Zuck was and um, Jay are back or yeah. Toby's back, you can tell it again to them <laughs> or something and you know, you'll have that fresh reaction. Yeah, I had a similar experience with my parents. I recall going down in the living room with my dad and then we put YouTube on our TV and my dad goes, hey, let's look at like, you know, some of your friends content, you know, you're in their videos, right? I'm like, yeah, because oh, no. let's put on Fitz. So he put he puts on Fitz's video, CSGO moments that are actually funny. And, wow. and you know, he's having a good laugh for, like, the first couple of minutes. And then it gets to the part where I where I take my belt off and start slapping my <laughs> penis against the desk. And he just kind of turns his head to me and, and like, and you know, squints his eyes and just kind of goes, he just goes, what the fuck, son? Like that. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's just a joke. It wasn't really my penis, you know? And he goes, he goes, that doesn't justify it. In reality, it was my penis. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> You know, like, you know, it was it was just very awkward explaining that to my dad. And I had another scenario where I went out to dinner with my mom, her sister and uh, and my uncle. Oof. And so I, I, I go <laughs> I go to dinner and this was right after our trip to Europe. So, you know, I'm like, oh, I'll impress, you know, my my aunt and uncle here. I'll, you know, talk to them about you know, how I went to Europe and, and, you know, all this funny shit that happened. You know, I'll, I'll try to make them laugh. And the thing with my aunt and uncle is that they are not the type of people that laugh. Like, they're very just serious. kind of cold, serious people, which is fine. But, you know, considering they haven't seen me in like a year and a half, this was kind of the weird thing. Because I'm talking to them and I'm like... Yeah, you know, funny thing about, you know, the Netherlands, you know, they have all these coffee shops around, and I went into a couple of them, and, you know, they don't serve coffee. You know, and they're just picking at their food and avoiding eye contact. And my sister's at the table, and she goes, <laughs> she goes, yeah, I'm having trouble sleeping. Like, I think I'm like, you know, we're like, I'm having trouble staying awake. I think I might be narcoleptic or something. And I go, hey, you know what makes me stay awake? Snorting five lines of crystal meth. <laughs> And then I look around the table for like a, like a smile or a giggle. They are picking at their food and they actually look concerned. And I'm just like, yeah, these jokes aren't working at all. And so <laughs> we, we, yeah, I bombed every single joke thinking it'd make him laugh. Um, yeah. I ended up leaving that we had dinner and fucking paid for my own dinner. I left. <laughs> my sister texts me the next day going, Hey, um, yeah, our aunt and uncle think that you're, actually like this womanizing drug a addict and they're trying to convince mom to step in and start regulating your channel and to take your channel and i just go oh. yeah that's not gonna happen i just laughed i laughed it off and i was like i was like dude like i'm fucking like i'm not a kid anymore she has yeah she has no jurisdiction i'm just gonna keep doing the shit that i do yeah and and i left it at that so the next time i see my aunt and uncles are probably gonna be uh, either at weddings or funerals. So, that's wow. just gonna that's, see a, I'm gonna yeah. see a fucking video from you. I'm gonna click in it. It's just gonna be your mom. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Swagger's mom. Had to take the channel away from him. It's really not working out for him. He's in rehab. He's currently in rehab, oh my relearning God. how to be a normal person. Um, I would cry. I would actually cry. That'd be so. That would actually be a great April Fool's joke, though. Oh, that that'd be really good to get my dad to do that or some shit. Yeah. I was yeah. I was really concerned yeah. about telling my parents about doing YouTube and shit like that just for that specific reason because they're like totally the same way they'd be like oh we need to like watch your channel and like see, see like the videos and stuff like that and like try and like manage yeah, I had it the all. manually approve yeah it. it's bad enough YouTube has to fucking manually approve <laughs> my videos I don't need my fucking parents doing it too do you have any relatives I have like that ah uh, she's not actually a relative but she's like a family friend who knows what I do, but she doesn't understand it. Like, she's very old school. She's very, like, anti-internet in general. She's very, like, anti-phones. You know, one of those kind of people who's, like, mm. young people always looking at their phones all day, like, you know, get out in the real world. Like, one of those kind of people. Yeah. And she, um, uh, just the conversation with her about what I do, she's just so condescending and, like, just, like, clearly disdainful for, like, 
what I do, and she doesn't understand how I make money. I hate that shit. Oh, it kills me, man. It I've kills had me conversations inside. like that before. That was what it was like anytime somebody at my work at that grocery store would ask me, like, about my YouTube, because, I mean, I guess, like, a few people knew, and then they would tell people, and then other people would come up to me and be like, hey, I heard that you do YouTube, and you have, like, 20,000 subs, and it would be really fucking awkward, especially if yeah. it was... You know, somebody like that that was jaded and didn't know much about technology, but was like, you know, still trying to be hip with me or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And I would explain it to them, and they would like, they would be trying really hard not to be condescending, but they would be. You know, yeah. and I would just be like irritated. I I always found it awkward telling people about my channel, like until maybe I was over the 500k mark is when maybe this lessened. But like, if people asked me like, oh, you do YouTube, right? Like, and I had like 50,000 subscribers. I would feel really awkward telling them about it because at that point it was, for one thing, still a hobby. And like, I don't know, I just felt kind of, I felt like they probably thought, I thought I was hot shit because I had 50,000 subscribers. But in my mind, like, I knew that I, I definitely was not hot shit. And then like 50,000 subs is actually really not a lot in the grand scheme of yeah, things. Small. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's weird. It's like, obviously when you are when you have no subscribers, you think 50K, that's sick. I would love to have 50K. But once you have 50K, it's like, Oh, I feel like I'm just a baby in the YouTube world. Like, I feel like I, I'm not really anything, which you, I mean, technically you want, but you know, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, no offense to McNasty. Fucking, uh. <laughs> no offense to anybody with 50k. <laughs> yeah, basically, you're yeah. fucking pathetic. Um, yeah, I always, God. I would hate it when I'd have friends who I'd tell about my channel and we'd go out to a social gathering or, you know, my friend would be throwing a party and then we'd go there and there'd be other people that don't and know about my channel. tell everyone. And oh. you know, not even tell, because I'm very clear with my friends. I go, look, like, I know it's cool I have a channel or like, you know, like, I know you're interested in it because a lot of my friends are interested in YouTube and a lot of the time they bring that up as like a subject matter for me to talk about because that's the most relatable thing. It's what I do every day. So... I can understand that. What I don't understand is when I tell you, please don't bring this up in any capacity around anybody who doesn't know who I am. Because, you know, my face is a secret and I'm trying to keep it low key. I don't want to get doxxed and I don't want people with big mouths knowing. And then I'll be at a party and then my friend will get high and then he'll go like, yo, dude, like I, I, I was on your Twitter and, you know, all these fans were doing all these weird stuff, you know. And, and I thought of this, like, what if you did like a video where you where you where you looked at all the fan comments on your tweets and you read them out in the video? You know, and I I just be like sitting there fucking putting my hand up like doing like the cut cut like my neck just going just going stop like that is fucking is you know as subtly as possible but holy shit dude like i shit bricks when shit like that happens i get so stressed out about it it's funny yeah because to them they probably it's, think it's it, the coolest thing ever but to you it's like so embarrassing i don't know, I know well not even weird. not in not embarrassing but just like i have a lot to you lose deal about if, it, yeah yeah like, i don't want to i don't want to deal with getting doxxed i don't want to deal with people stopping me on the street when i'm when i'm just trying to go to the laundromat you know any of that shit like it, it it that's something I stress about, and my dad is stressing to me. He's like, you know, this is going to be an inevitability. Like they're going to find out who you are. You know, all your details will be leaked, etc. And I'm still like, I'm like, yeah, but it it's not going to happen, kind of thing. Mm. But when it does happen, I need to find out how I'm going to deal with it. I, I would say it's going to be really hard, increasingly hard. I would say that. I would say that like one yeah. day. For sure. I would say like you should prepare for how you're going to feel about that because it could eat. I mean, all it takes is like one slip up like and it just boom. Yeah. But I mean, somebody makes a vlog, they forget fucking censor me for one frame. It's all they need. Or, yeah. you know, we're out with friends somewhere and I don't have my helmet on. We're just grabbing a drink and you guys get recognized and they're like, oh, yeah, that fucking that kid looks like Swagger. That's probably Swagger. And, yeah, then they, and they steal a, a picture pic. or something. Yep. Yeah. But I think you so, shouldn't be, so you shouldn't to be terrified to death of it, you know? I mean, I, not I, terrified I, to death. Yeah, it's not I'm confident. Like... I'm, I know I'm a fucking, I, I love my face. My face is probably the most beautiful thing on my body aside from my <laughs> dick. Like, it is, like, I have, I, like, oh. I'm not embarrassed of my face because I don't think I'm ugly, you know? Yeah, it's not really but, about that, is it? Obviously. Yeah, my my issue is like how privacy. it would impact my content, you know, how it would impact my privacy and and you know, 
I just don't want I just don't want that to happen. I like keeping my YouTube separate from my real life. I like living like Hannah Montana. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it that way. If it makes I, I think it makes you feel better, better like I'm my face is very public now and um I like have never been recognized once in my home city at least. I mean, you could say well, like, I mean, oh, that's New Zealand and no one fucking lives there. But you know, there's a lot of people who live here. And I do actually have a lot of people from New Zealand who watch my videos. So, you have pretty um, much more subs than the population of New Zealand. You have uh, just well, about the same or more. It's, oh, I'm about a million you're nearing, you're nearing up there. Maybe you don't meet them because they don't go outside. Maybe, you know, yeah. your fans. Yeah, although I will <laughs> say that like it does definitely kind of impact me now in public, especially when I like pass like especially people who who like are like 17 18 year old like men or like you know in that kind of age range like when i'm walking past i i look at them and i'm like fuck like there's a time that's my demographic moment. like literally yeah, it is th- those guys could recognize yeah, me exactly yeah. and i'm like oh like i get that kind of feeling too now that my face is out there there's that voice in the back of my head especially if i walk past like a group of yeah like 17 or 18 year olds like you said, I'm like, yo, those guys could totally know who I am. Yeah, what exactly. if they do when they just they just don't say anything? Yeah, you know, that's for all I thing. know, that could have already happened. Like, there's there could have already been so many people that have recognized me in real life that just didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. You guys so, want to know something fucked up? Sure. What? Uh, when I when I lived in my house alone, um, it was I was okay. So I was out of my house. I was in the process of moving out, and mm-hmm. my landlord let me know. He said, "Hey." Like a bunch of a bunch of kids, like you know, like like high schoolers, came by the house, and and they were asking if someone named Kevin was there. And I was like, well, I don't know a Kevin. My name isn't Kevin. You know, maybe it was like wrong address or whatever. He goes, yeah, I pretty much told him to like go away. Like there was no Kevin here. And I was like, I was like, okay, that's weird. And I didn't think anything about it. And like, I think it was like a month or two later. This guy comes into like I'm I'm in one of my Discord lobbies talking with people and this one guy is like, hey, um, yeah, I went to uh, I went to a house that looked awfully a lot like yours, like in your videos, Oof. and and I'm pretty sure it was your house, and I was like, okay, that's weird. Why? And he goes, he What's goes, oh well, fuck? you know, I just wanted to meet you or whatever, and I was like, what the fuck? And he goes, goes, yeah, a guy, a guy answered the door. Was that you? I was like, did it sound like me? He goes, no, like uh, the guy looked like he was 35. And and I was like, well, did the guy have like dark hair and a beard? And he's like, yeah, I go, that was my fucking landlord. He was watching the house for me. I was in the process of moving out. I wasn't there. And, uh, and, and he goes, oh, okay, so that wasn't you. And I'm like, no. And I go, and first off, why the fuck are you going to somebody's house unannounced? Yeah. And second of all, why would you go to mine? Like, why would you go to my house? And third, how that, do they figure it out yeah, without they, the address, they, just by they, knowing what it looks like? They figured it out. Like, I'm, I'm out of this state. I don't live in that state anymore, so I don't care. Like, it, it, like people can find it. Um, there are certain signs in videos people can fucking can you know fucking use crazy. they might if they, i think like they, recognize i don't the think area. i don't think it was the sign they recognized the area i think the guy the guy lived in the neighborhood and he recognized the the buildings in the neighborhood and then he was like oh uh, well i know exactly because you know i had the house number on you know, in video because i figured oof. like oh the house number doesn't fucking matter and uh and they fucking they they, <laughs> they went to my like a group of kids went to my house if you're listening and you find out my address don't ever come to my house never come to my house <laughs> he's gonna dead ass shoot you dude i i fucking like because if you come to my house you might you know if you want to go to my dad my dad is a gun he'll fucking shoot you don't don't come to my house <laughs> oh my okay I no swear but seriously it is it is so fucked up a lot of youtubers especially like in la and stuff deal with this all the time i just don't understand it like people like ringing their doorbells in the middle of the night and shit like it's so fucking yeah like, immature what the and fuck? stupid so Just leave Back us when alone. I paid attention to YouTube drama, that was like the main thing that always happened over and over was like, yeah, yeah. so-and-so YouTuber is complaining on Twitter. A fan came to their house. I'm like, why is this still happening? Does nobody have fucking, you know, common sense, common decency to, you know, leave your idol alone? They probably don't want to fucking talk to you. They have a, a million other people trying to talk to them already. Yeah, well, it's like, you know, they're probably happy to meet you, but just don't fucking come to their house. Yikes, you know, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like, but, yeah, yeah. hey. Like, if my face is revealed and I'm out walking around and you spot me and you come up to me, that's fine. For sure. But don't come to the place where I sleep. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked. That's <laughs> fucked up. Uh, that and is I'm not even, up. not even kidding, man. I know, it, I know. That, it is just funny. Because, dude, 
All I had to do was be there that day they came, and, and they could have snapped a picture, they could have found out, that I that would have been fucked. But thank God it was my landlord. The close call, dude. Dude, yeah, that fucking goddamn thank God, because the, <laughs> Lady Luck was on my side that day. Dude, that was that was weird to figure out. You know what's funny? What? The, the one time that I ever got recognized was before I even did a face review. Well, the one time I got recognized, like, in my hometown, just going out going out and about. It was while I was at work. It was when I had 19K. It was before I ever did a face reveal. Right. Somebody picked up on my voice. Wow. And said, hey, you sound like you... S yeah. It was somebody I was helping, like, showing them something in the store. And they said, hey, you know, you sound like this YouTuber. And they said, <laughs> raccoon eggs. And I literally just said, yeah, I don't know who that is, but I'll check him out. Cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I hope they're I didn't, I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them. I tweeted it out right after. If they follow me on Twitter, then they knew and they were probably pissed. Uh, but I didn't hilarious. want to tell them that it was me just in case it was like they would go psycho. Yeah. You know, and especially if I'm on the job. Uh, fair that. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But that was really fucking jarring when it happened. No, I can imagine. No doubt. Have, have you been recognized since your phase reveal outside of VidCon? No. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's. Good. It's. it's uh, yeah. I mean, I never have to deal with I've it. I've never been so, recognized. Yeah, I only well, get recognized when I travel. Um, I was recognized once, but that was from friends that I had in high school. I was I was still in college at this point, and they had they had texted me, going, "Hey man, like because they haven't talked to me in two years, two or three years." And they go, "Hey man, yeah, uh, are you Swagger Souls?" And I just go, "Why do you ask?" And, uh, and they're like, well, we've been to your house before. Like we've been in your basement. Like we know what your house looks like. And like, that's your voice. And that's what you look like <laughs> just with a helmet on. And I was like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm swagger souls. And, and the guy didn't believe me. My friend didn't believe me at first. <laughs> and, and I go, I go, dude, follow me on Twitter. I'll DM you. And he's like, okay, bet. So he follows me on Twitter and I DM him yeet. And then he, he, he fucking flips out. He's like, dude, that's crazy. And then uh, I was like, yeah, just don't tell anybody. Like, I'll tell like the rest of the, our group of friends. We'll hang out. You know, all that shit. Right. But that, that was, that was very, <laughs> that was very weird. Yeah. Just the fact that somebody put two and two together that's interesting did do you do your irl friends like know about your channel i presume they do rack they know about your channel now yeah yeah what, what, oh, do yeah. They, what do they think uh it's pretty interesting i've actually been reconnecting with a lot of old friends from high school recently and you know now that i live alone and can actually have people over and shit yeah. so i have them over and they're like yeah i've known about your channel because like i had it when i was still going to the school like or when i was still friends with them yeah so they know and they've like watched it go up over time and they were like yeah dude that's crazy that i literally went to high school with somebody that's a successful youtuber and they're like <laughs> yeah i literally bragged to my friends that i know raccoon eggs and i'm that's like so oh fun. all that's right so weird eh? yeah but other than that they're like they're cool with it they just like you know same old yeah. kind of friends as usual yeah they're not yeah they're not annoying about it which I'm thankful for. Yeah. Shit's wild. Shit's crazy. Um, Sick. Yeah. I mean, we've been, is there anything else? We've been recording for like over an hour now. Uh, this is a bit of a disaster. Yeah, an hour and 12 minutes. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably cut. We'll probably cut some yeah, shit out. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, no, some, like as we said, like up. multiple times, Rack's power went out. So we lost 45 minutes of good shit. Um, but hopefully this was an entertaining podcast anyway. And hopefully you got to know a little bit more about uh, your favorite your YouTuber. Your boy. Raccoon Eggs. Raccoon Eggs. All right. Round of applause. Oh. I get it. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm not going to clap. I'm not going to yeah. Okay. I'm clapping for myself. Hell right. yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. What were you going to say, uh, Rack? I was going to say, how long do you usually do these things for? Like anything over, like, like an, an hour? hour minimum, you know? So we've been at yeah. for like an hour and 12. So I think after cutting, it will probably end That's up fair. being an hour. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Follow Raccoon Eggs on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, it's just Raccoon Eggs. Look it up. It's pretty cool. Any, anything you'd like to plug, Rack? Um uh yeah maybe i'll do merch soon there's great. my plug <laughs> all right keep it maybe touch. i'll do merch soon okay great we've, we've been the misfits podcast <laughs> uh next week i promise we'll get mccreamy and jay and the gang will be back together and things will hopefully be normal um but yeah hope you enjoyed this this episode uh anyway okay goodbye all Fucking right remember kids I love you. skate fast eat ass and don't forget your hall pass wow inspiration all right smoke grass goodbye <laughs> Thank you.